ATO will be here in the quad collecting change and toys like these until December 3rd. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jonathan Waxman. The Texas State football team is gearing up for another big test. They take on Central Arkansas this Saturday night, and the Bears are ranked number 19 in the country. Suicide prevention experts are ready, are ready and willing to help at Texas State. That reminder is needed in light of a recent suicide of a freshman. Jonathan Waxman has more in this Bobcat Update. 23-year-old David Edwards of Kerrville was discovered by his brother James Edwards early on the morning of October 26th. The body was found with a suicide note in an abandoned building by Spring Lake near the two brothers' off-campus apartment. The investigation continues. Karen Gordon Sosby, Associate Director of the Student Health Center, says depression is common among students, but help is available. The two main sources of help for students are the Student Health Center here and the Counseling Center, which is located in the uh, Student Center building. Freshman chemistry major Allison McGlamory says she believes it's important to be aware of university resources, especially in cases such as this. I think suicide prevention at Texas State is important because there are other options and places people can go to to find help. Students who believe they or a friend need immediate assistance can go to the Counseling Center located on the fifth floor in the LBJ Student Center or visit the Student Health Center to receive professional advising. If the two locations are closed, students are encouraged to call the crisis hotline at 1-877-466-0660 where there are people available to speak 24 hours a day. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jonathan Waxman. A fraternity at Texas State is dedicating hundreds of hours of volunteer work for a good cause. Jonathan Waxman has more in this Bobcat Update. Every year, the Marine Corps raises money and collects gifts for less fortunate children during the holidays. This year, Alpha Tau Omega, a fraternity at Texas State, is providing support to the cause. With Toys for Tots, we are here the entire month of November to help raise money and collect gifts for Christmas for the underprivileged goods. Giving a little bit goes a long way. From my memories of being a kid, I think just seeing one gift, at least for Christmas, makes a kid happy. So I think just seeing so that they have something there for them that someone gave them will just make their Christmas better. So far, the fraternity's efforts have paid off with several boxes full of toys and more than $200 raised in less than a week. People interested in donating toys or some loose change can find ATO in the quad or at one of their two houses located at the intersection of Lindsay and North Street. ATO will be here in the quad collecting change and toys like these until December 3rd. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jonathan Waxman. Yankees manager Joe Girardi is celebrated as a coach, but it turns out he is somewhat of a saint as well. Not happy with simply ending the nine-year championship drought for the Bombers, Girardi took time after the celebrations were over last night to come to the aid of a woman in a car accident. Girardi and Yankees pitcher Andy Pettit had passed the woman earlier in the night at a drunk driving checkpoint before the Yankee skipper came to the minor spinout. The driver, Mary Henry of Connecticut, was extremely grateful for the manager's assistance.